<clears throat> Truth. Whew. Man, this is a big subject. So, I might talk at you a little longer this time around than I usually do. Apologies in advance. So, despite what we see, um, despite the fact that it looks like we live in a world where falsehoods and lies are pretty much a dime a dozen wholesale, I personally believe that we're entering an era of ultimate truth. Um, how can I say this? You know, everybody's, you know, falsehood this, fake news that, no credibility this. It's, it's all you ever hear. All you ever hear is there's this reality and that reality. And if you subscribe to this one, then I subscribe to that one. You're wrong. I'm right, et cetera, et cetera. But I don't, I don't see that as, as being a, a permanent thing. It's not sustainable. It has really no staying power. I think what's happening is we are entering an era of ultimate truth. And we're going through the growing pains to get there. Now, why do I say this? Well, because it sucks. And that is what truth does fairly often. Truth sucks. At least it can. It, it, you're going to have to bear with me for a minute because I'm going to perhaps come across as a bit hypocritical here because I'm taking a subjective view to objective truth. So yes, these are my opinions, my beliefs on the subject, but I've put it through a thought process that I think incorporates a good amount of logic, reasoning, evidence, those kind of things. And my key thought is that we're grappling with the truth now. We're all somewhat in a situation where we've either been cooped up in our houses for almost a year or working jobs where we have to keep ourselves isolated from other people. I, I mean, society has taken a very sharp shift, whether you acknowledge it or not and that is a fact that is the truth maybe it hasn't affected you personally so much i know it hasn't really affected my personal life so much but it's still in your head it's still outside all around you every time you go there and you you, you can't deny that no matter what your opinions on on everything that's happening are the truth is is that we're changing it's changed us and that's okay, but <laughs> it ain't comfortable. And for a lot of us, it's not even really acceptable. And that's what truth is. Truth is truth. It is a hard, objective thing. I hear a lot of talk about this sort of idea of my truth, your truth, you know, your inner truth, whatever. I don't really buy that. I honestly think that that is kind of uh, disingenuous. I think that's a way that people try to support their beliefs in a manner that almost force other people to accept them as fact. That doesn't, that doesn't really work. Um, there's only the truth. There's not your truth and my truth. And I don't like that any more than you do. But if we embrace that, if we embrace the suck of that, just learn how to deal with things that you don't like to hear. Learn how to deal with things that go against your ide ideology or, you know, your, your, your sense of righteousness or whatever you've got. If it's not the undeniable truth, then you are just forcefully backing up an opinion or a belief. And there's nothing really wrong with that. Beliefs aren't right or wrong. That's what makes them cool. They're things that we have for us that we can hold near and dear and people can try to disprove them all they want. It doesn't matter. We choose to believe in them. It's a choice. Don't tell me that it's just learned behavior or that your beliefs are just the truth and anyone that argues with that doesn't know what they're talking about, that, that, that's not the case. You choose your beliefs. I choose my beliefs. 
And I've chosen beliefs in the past that did not do me any good. I have beliefs that actually have gotten me a long way as well, but you have to measure those things out. In fact, you have to find the truth behind your beliefs. Do they serve you or do they hurt you or do they hurt other people or do they make you act like a dick? Because if they do, I mean, you might want to change that up. The world doesn't need any more dicks. Anyway, I'm not going to harp on what the definition of truth is too much. I'm just going to say that going forward, no matter what you're doing right now, whether it's just trying to get through your day, you know, I mean, I, I, I hope this isn't the case, but if you're depressed or lonely or listless or anxious and, and just getting getting up in the morning, doing a few things and making it to bed at night, if that's your challenge, find the truth in that. Figure out exactly why you are feeling the way you are and own it. Don't make excuses for it. Don't don't let the the symptoms become your identity. Find the truth. Or if you have a heavy set of opinions and you're out there fighting with everyone else about it all the time, whether that's on the internet, which most people fight on these days, let's be real, or in public, I don't know, it doesn't matter, really dig into the truth of what you're saying and what you're doing. I mean, I've done that a lot over this last few years. There were things that I believed in that quite frankly, they're not really the truth. And I'll admit it, and I'll own it. It doesn't change the core makeup of, you know, my own sense of morality or my own sense of, you know, what's fair and what isn't. But I found the truth behind a lot of the things that I was saying and realized, you know, a lot of this is just rhetorical or a lot of this has a heavy agenda and all of the truth in it was actually more just opinions or beliefs trying to support that agenda. I mean, we, unfortunately, you know, we see this every day. Truth can be distorted. I don't believe that there's alternative facts or fake news or false truth or any of that. Those kind of words are dumb. Get them out of your vocabulary if you're using them. They're, they're, they're stupid. There's no such thing. There's truth, there's, there's true, there's false, right? There's real, there's fake. We got to knock off all this BS about, you know, fake truth or, or whatever. So good step one, no matter where you're at, no matter what's going on, eliminate that stuff from your vocabulary. All that is, is excuses. All that is, is a cop out. So you don't have to look at yourself in the mirror and see things that you maybe don't like or that you can maybe do better. I mean, that that's okay, you know? Just be with that. We all gotta look at things outside of us right now. The truth envelops all of us. It's not just here with me. It's not just there with you. That's, that's a logical fallacy and I don't know what it is, but it's really hard with people in our culture to see outside of their own little sphere. And our bubbles have gotten much smaller over the last year, so it's getting even harder. We're almost fortifying our own pig-headedness in a way. So just as an example, my wife and I were driving through downtown Bellingham yesterday, and we went past... Um, sort of the center where all the government buildings are. So you've got the library, you've got the courthouse, uh, the jails down there, um, you know, a bunch of other administrative buildings, what have you. And the lawns of the whole area are absolutely covered with tents and tarps and people staying warm, standing around barrels with, you know, fires going in them, things like that, you know, and, and you know, most of these people like, just to be honest, don't, don't look like they're doing too good. So the truth is, is that 
something isn't working. <laughs> that did not exist there. I don't think even a year ago, let alone, I mean, five, six, seven years ago, absolutely not. Maybe a little bit a few years ago. The truth is, is that there is something wrong. There is a condition out there that's creating these kind of living situations for a ridiculous amount of people. Okay? The truth is not that there are a bunch of, you know, rabble that should have pulled themselves up by their bootstraps. And the truth also is not that, you, you know, they're, they're, they're taken care of in some way, shape, or form. I hear a lot of this stuff now where people look at, at people in unfortunate situations like that and they look, they look at them with hostility. They look at them like, like they shouldn't and have no right to be there. And what we saw was heartbreaking. If you can drive by a scene like that and it doesn't hurt your heart and soul, you might be having some issues with the truth. There might be something more wrong than that. And I'm not really qualified to go into that, but you might be having some issues with the truth. At any rate, I can't change that truth. No matter what kind of narrative or excuses I make for that reality, that thing that is right there, right in front of us, a problem that we could collectively fix if we all wanted to accept the part we've played in it and fix it. People don't want to accept that. They don't want to accept that those people are the same as you and the same as me because let's be real. Most of us live, if you look at the whole world, if you've been anywhere else in the world, you know, um, you know, overseas in Asia or something like that, you know, and seen how people live, much smaller places, walking everywhere, that kind of thing, at least in the cities, and compare it to here where it's, it's kind of normal in our culture to live in a, you know, respectively big place and drive a big vehicle to big stores to make big purchases. It's comfort, you know? Is it the truth? Maybe. I don't know. But it's pretty hard when you've got all those comforts and conveniences to see the truth of how the other side has to live. It's not your fault. It's not my fault. But we do all kind of play a hand in it. Like, if you're not helping, you're not helping, right? I try to do a little bit here and there, do what I can. I don't have a whole lot of resources myself, but I try. And that's the truth. The truth is I could do better. And maybe you need to say to yourself, the truth is I could do better as well. I don't, I don't know. But that's it. I can't change that. That's a fact. That's the truth. I can't change that any more than I can change the fact that I have a sandwich and a cup of coffee. Like, believe me, I would love this to be prime rib and a glass of red wine. But I can't do that. I can't call it those things. And then when you tell me no, it's a sandwich and a cup of coffee, I say fake truth or something like that. Doesn't exist. Not real. So while we're stuck in our houses or unfortunately maybe in our tents or wherever you happen to be, work on the truth. You've got this time Dig deep. Start accepting things that are uncomfortable. Start accepting things that you don't like. Okay? For all you out there that are watching this because you're in the martial arts, self-defense, combat sports circles, this is a good mindset to take to your training. Find the truth. I've been into this stuff as long as I have because I look at it as a search for the truth. And I've had to let go of a lot of things, even just recently, that... I held to a little too tightly and the truth wins out every time and I have to abandon those things. The longer you hold on to the things that are holding you back, the, the, the heavier they get, the harder they are to shake off. So, I don't know. Listen to some good talks. Read some books. Stay in contact with your friends and family as best as you can keep the truth alive. Thanks guys. I'll see you next week.